here today to share with you some very exciting news. Uh, two long-standing and well-respected behavioral health agencies in Southern Illinois, uh, so Southern Illinois Regional Social Services and the H Group, are joining together through merger as of July 1st, 2012. This is, an excellent, this is excellent news for those who come to us for services because it strengthens our ability to maintain and improve the quality of service we can offer in Southern Illinois. It also, also provides this region with an agency that is much stronger working together than as individual agencies. The state of Illinois has approximately 150 mental health agencies across the state. There is an effort to reduce this number, as other states have, to create economies of scale and greater efficiencies in the delivery of services. Therefore, we are seeing mergers and consolidation activity happening at the local, state, and national level, in, part, in large part because available resources for behavioral health services are limited and shrinking. Our process of merger began <clears throat> about two years ago when, when both Karen Freitag uh, CEO of the CERS uh, agency and I began, more, began to more strongly experience the realities of the state's fiscal challenges. CERS and the H Group have a long history of cooperation and collaboration in the delivery of services to the region. And, then, and this next step in our relationship is a very natural progression and beneficial one for our clients, our staff, and our region. With this strategic effort, we not only hope to offer the same continuum of services both agencies have offered in the past, but to strengthen and to make our new and make our new single agency more comprehensive and responsive to those who come to us in need of help. We are very excited about this opportunity, and I believe that it solidifies our efforts to ensure that these services will remain available and local to all the people in Southern Illinois. I want to thank you so much for coming today and sharing this event with us. And we look at um, the future opportunities and continuing our working relationship with all of you. I now want to introduce uh, Karen Dreyfeld who has some comments. Thanks, John. And I, too, would like to welcome everybody and thank you all for coming today. Um, this is a, a really important event for us, and we thank you for sharing it with us. Some of you may have noted in the news release that SERS and H Group came from the same roots. And it was from a group of concerned citizens that began meeting in 1958. We've been separated for so long, it was really not immediately apparent that we were returning to our roots. Um, but our discussions in the due diligence process helped us revive our history, and it was really fun to figure that out. We were birthed by mental health associations formed long ago in Jackson, Williamson, and Franklin counties, and we've had similar paths. And our um, board member, David Melby, can probably expound upon I'm honored to be here today as a representative of the board of directors of the H Group. I want to thank you for your attendance and for your interest in this merger between two excellent behavioral health agencies, service providers in Southern Illinois. I'd like to share with you a little of the history of SERS and the H Group. While the decision to merge has been made, many challenges remain in the months ahead to bring about a successful blending of these two agencies. However, today should be a day, day of celebration of the return of both agencies to their roots. Some of the earliest community behavioral health services in each of the, of the three primary counties represented in this merger began in the 1960s under the auspices of the Southern Illinois Mental Health Center. They began first in Jackson County and then were extended to Franklin and Williamson counties. During the late 1960s, mental health associations in each of these counties played significant roles in passing county tax referendums that have provided important resources used to support local services right up to the present day. While the services provided by the Southern Illinois Mental Health Center represented very modest beginnings of the two agencies now rejoining through a merger, they nonetheless created the impetus for the wide array of behavioral health services that are available today in these three counties. In 1969, a new agency was incorporated in Franklin and Williamson counties to carry on the work begun through the Southern Illinois Mental Health Center and Mental Health Services of Franklin and Williamson Counties Incorporated was born. 
His first administrator was Floyd Cunningham of Marion, and he is with us today along with his wife Shirley. Floyd served in that capacity until his retirement at the end of 1995. Each of these agencies has undergone two subsequent name changes in the intervening years. While many of their services are very similar, each provides services in their respective service areas not currently provided by the other. Throughout the years, they have enjoyed a predominantly cooperative rather than competitive relationship, as John noted earlier. In recent years, each agency has devoted much time and significant resources toward the integration of behavioral health with primary health care services in the area. Through this merger, we anticipate that those efforts will continue and hopefully will become a model for others to follow. I'm excited about this merger. The reality is that prolonged economic hard times, challenging times, and high unemployment create a greater need and demand for the services provided by SERS and the H group. While the necessary resources to provide them become much more difficult to maintain. <clears throat> this merger will help to strengthen the position of the combined agencies to provide high quality behavioral health services in Franklin and Williamson and Jackson counties and beyond for many years to come. Thank you very much for your interest. Dr. Liz Lewin, who will make additional comments. Liz is the president of the board of CERT. Good afternoon. I want to just share a little bit of the process. You may be a little uh, curious about how all of this came about. Well, the two boards have formed um, a negotiations team, representatives from uh, both boards, and they met to provide a thorough examination of both agencies to determine the feasibility of a, a merger. Taking a look, of course, going through uh, total due diligence, uh, being quite transparent about finances, operations, personnel, uh, you know, all of the legal aspects. And I will tell you, having been involved in uh, a lot of legal type of uh, situations and dealing with organizations in, in the past, I want to stop just a little bit and make some observations from uh, my uh, experience. When the boards came together, what occurred each time there was a meeting? At the door, each person left every uh, self-serving behavior or thought. And once we were together, inside the room, there was a sole sense of purpose. Everyone was determined that Southern Illinois would not lose any services, and there was a clear determination that we could, we would expand services to the good people of Southern Illinois. And with that climate set, all of the hard work that we had to do was quite shouldn't say easy, but it went quite smoothly. In examining the uh, finances, the financial staff, they got together and looked at all of the data for uh, both groups, and it was clear that each year that each organization was really putting a, a lot of effort into trying to maintain the services for their prospective regions while dealing with the negative impact of the state not providing uh, the funds because of their own uh, financial struggles or challenges. And despite that, as SERS, and speak for SERS because I know, uh, would have to lay off staff periodically, but still the agency, we would take a look at how can we continue to serve. I mean, and I really cannot stress enough how that single sense of commitment and passion really carried serves through to the point of, you know, saying, you know what, we really need to look at it. We need some 
some assistance and uh, with the uh, wealth of uh, service and the wonderful reputation that the age group had. I mean, we said what a wonderful marriage to be able to continue what both groups do. I, I really get filled when I think of what could have happened to our region if this had not occurred. I really believe that it would be far more difficult for Southern Illinois to shine the way I think it has without the services of both group. And when you think about it, if there was any chance of that, of us losing one or the other, then we all lose. This way, we are all huge winners today. And I am extremely happy to be a part of that. And really excited that all of you are here to share it with us. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dave and Liz. We really appreciate that. Um, I'll open it up for questions if anybody has any questions uh, at this point. <laughs> I will say, um, and Liz alluded to this in the comment, I don't know how many of you have all been through mergers. Uh, and, and, uh, and that's that's also uh, and always a very hard thing if you've ever been through that. And, in the banking business, Scott, I think that would too. And uh, that, that happens a lot, and the, the, there's a, not only a lot of work involved in that, but as Liz said, checking things at the door was a very significant thing for all of those the people in that room. And we uh, had comments from both sides of the board and, and staff realizing that as we went through this process, nobody seemed to have their own agenda. It seemed to be a single agenda, and it seemed to first put the, the, the clients that we serve first and then what makes best sense in terms of the staff and the organization going forward. But always the clients, the mission of the clients, the quality of services, and the array of services, and continuum services, and enhancing those was our goal. And we really believe that this will allow us to do that. But this process has, for me, I've, since I've never been through a merger before, and we had no script, and still have no script going forward, but we know there's a lot of work. Um, it is really something that I was very impressed with, and as in, I think, um, in, in looking at these things, it would almost make you think that it's easy to do. <laughs> so it's not, it's not, probably isn't easy to do, um, but even in the best of circumstances, it's difficult. But when you have such, uh, the people that we had at the table, it just was really, really a good experience for all of us. And um, we believe that it's the right thing to do at this point in time. So if there are no questions, we'll be up here afterwards, certainly can, uh, Call my, call me, call Karen, and we, we can answer those questions for you. We really appreciate you guys taking the time today to come and enjoy this with us. Thank you very much.